I got some sales this weekend. It's the Monday morning rush, and I wanted to show a few of the items. So in our building, they literally just finished cleaning the windows, and now it's storming out, although it's a really nice one. People were dangling from the building on the other side and on this side all morning cleaning the windows and they just finished and then a thunderstorm came through. The first thing was from a whole lot of plushes that we got. Somebody got this Cookie Monster Easter Bunny thing. Like, I think that's even how I described it. I was just like Cookie Monster Easter Bunny. I knew nothing else about it. I think there's a date on it, don't know. But that's what this is. This 1950s version of Hansel and Gretel, the Brothers Grimm story. So Hansel and Gretel in this golden book, the kids who's basically a lovely fairy tale about parental abuse and neglect. It really is. It's You forget how disturbing these stories are. It's the stepmother or actually I can't remember if it was the stepmother or the mother hated the children. The hunter basically said yes, dear, and took the kids into the woods. She chases them and throws things at them. And this is their mother. Uh, but yeah, yells at the guy saying, we got to get rid of those kids. So he takes them into the woods and they leave them there. But the pictures are like really cool. The pictures, the pictures of neglect are really cool. So even when they find somebody who's nice to them, she's doing it to be mean to them. And of course, they push her in the oven and then they dance. This book is from 1954, but this is the reprinted version from 1982. The other thing to mention too is that the pictures are by Eloise Wilkin. And I feel like that name pops up quite a bit when I'm looking at a lot of these books. I like to make sure to check the artists that do the illustrations on the book to kind of see which ones progress more and like how different the art is on each one and then I kind of look up those artists and see what their other stuff they've done is. So I found this VHS copy of E.T. the Extraterrestrial right here, E.T. I don't know if the person bought it because it's just that it's a V, uh, E.T. VHS tape or if they got it because I feel like this is sig significant. It's green. The whole I guess the accent I don't know what these even when I was writing it I put these parts are green but I'm like the accents of it are green or like different areas of it I don't know I remember it taking a long time for this to come out on home video I feel like it was a sponsorship thing like it took a couple of years like other things were already coming out on home video that have been in theaters and this one took quite a while before it was available I got this Fisher Price dog and puppies wooden peg puzzle from 1976 when you pull out the puzzle pieces let's see if I can balance this here when you pull out the puzzle pieces there's illustrations behind it so there was a whole thing where it's like there's <laughs> there's this like huge illustration work there's pegs on the puzzle and it literally sold in like an hour like right away on Facebook Marketplace. So that is going to be going out today. That's the, oops, let me put these back in place. So that's going out today. That is the Fisher Price Dog and Puppies Children's Wooden Peg Puzzle. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, illustrated book. Now, this book is from 1958. Not only the illustration in it looks really cool, but it's one of the first books that was illustrated by Richard Scarry, the guy that does like the Richard Scarry books because that's his name. So if you look at it, here's what it looks like. It's full color, very, I wanna say, it almost looks like it's colored pencil. I don't know, it's a mixture of stuff, but I gotta take some photos of these before I send it out. That's what I like to do. Um, get a picture of all these and then I post it on the blog with the actual just close-ups of the pictures for people to check out because it's not going to be here anymore. I'm going to have some lunch now 
and then pack this stuff up to go out. It's funny how dark it is. Although, I like the different, we have one light over there, so I got this weird like orange lighting and then blue lighting. It's like we got a high, I know it sets the mood. Actually, it's kind of weird because I'm not used to doing this in such darkness, but it's still raining. I wonder how, computer, how long is it supposed to rain today? It's raining right now. I know. Let me try this. Computer, when is the rain supposed to stop? It's raining right now. That's not helpful. 